What is the strangest thing that happened to you that you can't logically explain? When I was in college, a drunk dude fell from a third floor balcony and got up and walked away like it was nothing. Seriously one of the weirdest freakish things I've ever seen in my life. Edit, for those asking, University of Southern California circa 2009. It's getting late guys. Oh, this is my floor jumps. I had recently watched an early episode of Criminal Minds where an arsonist would lock people in their homes before lightening the house on fire. For whatever reason it kinda got to me. A night or two later I woke up out of a dead sleep and couldn't get that episode out of my mind so I finally decided to just get up and check the front door. I swear I could not open the door. Unlocked it, but it was totally stuck. I woke up my husband because I was so freaked out. He also tried and couldn't get the door open, and has a big guy. I ended up climbing out a window so I could push the door from the outside while he pulled from the inside. We finally got it open. I didn't watch Criminal Minds for a long time after that. Edit, thank you all for the awards and upvotes. To answer some questions, I don't remember for sure but I assume the door was wood, although not great quality since it was a rental. It's totally possible that the door or door jam had swelled, that was my husband's theory too, however we didn't have problems with it before or after that and we lived there two years. The thing that freaked me out most though was that I woke up for no apparent reason with that episode on my mind, and that just happens to be the night my door is stuck. Also yes, I accidentally typed lightning that's what I get for posting from my phone. I really hope this answer blows up, just so thousands of people across the world go and open their front door for no reason. There's at least one. My door is good though. Had a dream that I got a phone call saying my brother that I haven't seen in 10 years had died. Two days later I got a call that he actually had died. My dad claims to have had this twice. Not a call, but he was actually visited by the deceased in a dream. They were always happy in the dream. Then he would learn of their non-illness related sudden death after waking up. I hit a patch of black ice in the dark going 60 miles per hour down the highway. At the time, I drove a one-ton cargo van. It hit the guardrail and flipped. Not only did I walk away without a scratch, the car was drivable, and I was only 30 minutes late to work. Edit, a word. Do a barrel roll. Both of my lungs collapsed at the same time, almost over 50% collapsed, and I was walking around like I was perfectly normal. Until I decided to go to the ER for bubble sounds in my chest. None of the doctors could figure out why this had happened to me. They didn't know how I was just up and walking around and laughing edit, word edit number 2 to answer questions, 1. I am a 57 thin woman. I have heard it is very common in tall and thin men. 2. Yes, it was bilateral pneumothorax, doctor just couldn't figure why it happened. 3. I ended up having 4 more spontaneous pneumothorax within the span of 2 years. I am still a mystery in that hospital 4. I was aged 19 to 21 when this was happening. 26 years old now. 5. They did pleurodesis procedure to get it to stop happening, hasn't happened since. This happened to my brother. He said he was getting a cold, but felt fine. His voice sounded really weird though and it felt like he had like plastic under his skin in his chest, crepitus I guess it's called. Ended up in the hospital for a few days but felt fine the whole time. Doctors have no idea what caused it. I used to fence, the sport, not stolen goods. I was at a tournament and it had just started a bout against a competitor. You win the bout by being the first to 5 points. I score what I believe to be first point, but the official indicates the match is over and I've won. I stood there confused for a second, but my opponent seems to agree and salutes and approaches for a handshake, so I go along with it. I check the scorecard and it says I've won 5-2. to two. Totally lost probably 4 or 5 minutes of time. Hasn't happened since to the best of my knowledge, but it's been 20 years and I still wonder what happened. I.e. had something similar happen to me. I was cleaning my mom's shop, like I had done hundreds of times, and just as I started to sweep, I looked down to the floor already been swept and everything cleaned. Lost like 15 to 20 minutes, still don't know what happened. Brains are lazy and sometimes don't bother to record something entirely routine. Happens a lot to people driving, they just go on autopilot and wake back up once they arrive. I've had it happen when I'm tired and I can't remember the last few minutes of driving, but when I need to do something, like overtake someone or take an exit, then it's like my brain woke up and told me it needed me to make a decision. Also a very good sign that you need to stop driving and have a break. 
am a firefighter and we got a call for an overdose around 3 a.m. to a rough part of our district in the middle of winter. Unfortunately the patient was long gone and her dealer or whatever found her like that when he dropped some stuff. As we were packing up our stuff mind you this is a absolutely trashed mobile home, I hear something down the hall that said lights. I asked my partner if he said anything as it was just him and I cleaning up he said no. I walk to the far end of the trailer where I heard it and shine my flashlight I get a reflection out of the window. They have a small tool shed and it had a flickering light, it piqued my interest so my partner and I go out there. We hear crying and notice the door is padlocked. We cut it, and this little six-year-old girl was in there. She said her mom puts her in there when she gets mad at her. She said she got scared when she heard the sirens and didn't know what to do. To this day I have no idea what happened or where the voice came from, but I'll take the win on it. Edit, a couple people wondering about what happened after, my partner and I took her to the children's hospital closest to us, and we wrote our report and ate chips and a sandwich we took from the lounge while they called a social worker. She was a really sweet girl, the voice was not a little girl voice I 100% thought it was my partner since it sounded like a guy. How horrible for that poor girl. I hope she's in a better family situation now. Time slipped by my friend and I one day. We got a contract in another town and drove out daily for two weeks. It was one hour to get there and one hour back but one day it took us three hours to get back to town. My friend realized something was wrong when his wife called him up asking why he turned his phone off and why he was so late. We left a little before 2 p.m. and the call came almost at 5 p.m. To this day we can't explain it, and to further complicate matters we both have receipts from a gas station we stopped at just before we got on the highway that our time stamped a bit after 2 p.m. My theory is that the aliens took us for two hours but who the hell knows. I had something similar happen, left my house to go pick something up from the store. I remember driving and leaving my house, but nothing after. I only remember returning home a few hours later. Was only like a 25 minute drive to the store I'd what happened in between. I was just a 6 year old kid deciding what to do after school while I was in my grandparents living room. I saw a red flash shoot out of the wall and go from that side to the other wall and into it. A second later a big earthquake hit. I saw some sort of visual shock wave from the earthquake. And no it wasn't those weird lightning ball things. In my childish mind I thought that I just saw the Flash, the comic book character, run through the room. Another cool one that is explained by sheer unbelievable coincidence is that I phoned a friend so I hadn't spoken to in at least 3 years and it went to voicemail. After I left a voicemail I saw I had a voicemail notification. It was a voicemail from the person who I just called. The weirdest part is that we must have called each other at exactly the same moment otherwise it would have done the call waiting thing instead of sending to voicemail. We immediately called each other back and tripped out about how weird that was. Several times when I had a landline, I picked up the phone to call my friend, only to hear her voice already on the phone. Literally picked it up to call her as she called me, so it never even rang on my end. Yes. I remember this happening with landlines too. Pick up the phone, dial my friend's number, and then just hear them breath as we're both just waiting for the ring. So this still baffles me but when I was a kid we had moved into a new house and while the realtor was showing us around the house I saw a lady sitting at a white dresser in a pink room and she even waved at me but when I asked my mom who that was she just brushed me off because she was trying to listen to the realtor. The weird thing is that there were no rooms painted pink in the house and my family just played it off despite me being adamant of what I saw. Anyway fast forward a few years and I'm in high school at this point and we start renovating the house and while stripping the wallpaper in the master bedroom we found out it was painted pink at some point. Still low-key freaks me out. Edit, just to clarify and provide more info. This happened on the day we moved in. I was not looking through a door, I was actually looking at a wall when I saw this, on the other side of the wall I was looking it was the master bedroom, but we had passed the door to that room. When we discovered the paint it was actually a few coats back. So there was wallpaper, white paint, a minty green color paint, and then the coat of pink paint. Lastly, the lady was pretty young I would guess in her 30s and as far as I know no one died at that property. My sister as a toddler little kid, this lasted probably for 6-7 to years, used to cry because a blue-faced man in a dirty jean overalls used to scare her around our property. It got to a point where my mother was convinced a pedophile was stalking her, so she went to the police. After some research and the invention of the internet, My mom discovered that our house sat on the property of an old rancher who had hung himself in his barn because of some legal battle over his land and farm. We're convinced this guy was haunting her. Purple mommy was dating blue face daddy.